Now let's review math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 4. Order in operations with fractions, topic A, decomposition and fraction equivalents. So let's look at this tape diagram. This tape diagram is showing that my one hole is made up of three parts and that one of those parts is shaded. So my tape diagram is representing one third. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose these thirds into sixths. And I want to do that by breaking each third in half. And if I do that, it's going to give me six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I can see is that one third, which is what I had before, is the same amount. It is equivalent to two sixths. Let's look at it a different way. Here I'm showing that one third is this amount. When I decompose it and break those thirds into smaller parts, then I can see that inside each of these third pieces I have one sixth. So one third is equal to one sixth plus one sixth or two sixth. And I can also see that one third is equal to two times one sixth. This tape diagram is representing that my one hole is broken into five parts. So over here I have two of those parts shaded. That's representing two fifths. So here's one of those fifths and here's the other fifth. Now let's say that I wanted to break those fifths up into three parts. So I want to break this one fifth into three parts. I would come in and I would draw two lines in there and it would break that up into three parts. So instead of having fifths, if I did this for my whole tape diagram, instead of having fifths, each one of these fifths would become three parts. So I would have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen parts in all, but I would have three of those inside here. So this unit fraction now would be a 15 because I have 15 parts in all. This one piece is one of 15 parts. So this one would be 1 15th and this one would be 1 15th. So 1 -fifth would be equal to 3 times 1 15th. Two fifths, well, two fifths would be equal to 2 times 3 fifteenths. That would be 6 fifteenths. So it would be 2 times I would have this. So two-fifths, we can say, is equal to three times one-fifteenth plus three times one-fifteenth. Or we might even just see it the addition way. Two-fifths is equal to three-fifteenths plus three-fifteenths. Let's take a look at this addition sentence and see if we can't construct a tape diagram to match it. To begin with, it's showing two-sixths on this side of the equal sign. So I'm going to have to show a tape diagram that represents two-sixths. I can do that by first drawing a tape diagram that shows that my whole is broken up into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I know I need my whole to be six parts. Now, of those parts, 
I have two shaded in. So I will shade two of them in. Now how can we show that 2 6 is equal to 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th, which is equal to 4 twelfths? What I will need to do is I'll need to decompose each of these pieces, each of the 1 6 parts, break those in half, and I will end up with 12. So it's probably not going to be perfect, but we'll try to make them perfect to help show that our fractions are divided into equal parts. It looks pretty good. See how I took each one six piece that I had and I broke it in half. That made twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So to start with, I had two sixths. I'm going to represent that here. And when I broke up those sixths in half, I created twelfths. So now I have one twelfth here. 1 12th here, 1 12th here, and 1 12th here. So how many twelfths do I have? 4 twelfths. So this tape diagram now represents this number sentence. Alright, that's going to wrap things up for lesson 4. We've been working to decompose fractions into sums of smaller unit fractions using tape diagrams.